Now that you know who does it, what's it called? A daily is a newspaper that is printed every day, or at least four days per week. It doesn't necessarily have to be all seven. A weekly is printed once a week, always on the same day. Now some newspapers print two or three days a week, like every Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or every Tuesday and Thursday. You might also have a bi-weekly that is printed once every two weeks. Next you have a broadsheet. This is a large format newspaper, while a tabloid is roughly half the size of a broadsheet. Now in this context, a tabloid refers only to the size of the newspaper and not its content. Now the National Enquirer, for example, is both a tabloid in size and a tabloid in content. For the next few slides, you might want to use the newspaper mock-up on pages 28 and 29 of the text to follow along. First, you have the headline. This is the big type written by copy editors that summarizes the story at the very top. The byline is the reporter's name followed by credentials like staff writer or section editor. Dateline gives the location of the story that happened outside the paper's normal coverage area. The lead is the beginning of the story, typically the first one or two paragraphs. Next is the quote. This is someone's exact words enclosed by quotation marks. Attribution is a phrase that tells readers the source of a quote or information that's used in the story. The photo is a picture. It can run in either color or black and white. Next is what's called the photo credit. This is a line identifying the photographer who took the photo. Next is a pull quote, sometimes called a lift out. This is a quotation from the story that's given special graphic emphasis. It's pulled out of the paper to pull in readers. Then you have what's called the tagline. This is contact information for the reporter at the end of the story that allows readers to provide feedback. Beyond the parts of the story, there's a few parts of the newspaper itself that you should know. First is the flag. This is the paper's nameplate, the name of the paper, often set in special type. The edition is a specified issue of the paper. Now some papers print more than one edition, one for street sales and others for delivery to subscribers in different parts of their circulation area. An infographic is a chart or graph that visually displays key facts from a story. And then a deck. This is a subheadline written by copy editors that supplements information in the main headline. Text is the story. These are measured in columns and inches. A jump line is used when a page one story continues on an inside page. Editors label the story with a keyword and run the jump line to tell readers where the story continues. A cut line is information about a photo that is collected by photographers, but usually written by reporters or copy editors. It often appears just below the photo. I prefer to call it a caption. And finally, you have a teaser, sometimes also called a promo or a skybox. This is an item at the top of page one designed to grab readers' attention so that they'll pick up and purchase the paper. A refer is information embedded in a story that alerts readers that another story on the topic appears elsewhere in the paper. What's called a wire story is a story written by a reporter working for a national news service like the Associated Press. The story is sent to papers nationwide and is not written by someone at that specific newspaper. A mugshot is a close-up photo of someone's face. It's often run small and with columns to identify writers or to show an image that's the focus of the story. Finally, you have the centerpiece. This is the top story of the day, chosen by editors because of its newsworthiness or reader appeal. 
it's placed in the most prominent position of the paper with the biggest headline. It can be a feature story as well. The index is a list on page one and of stories and features that will appear inside the paper. You might also see a logo. This is a small, specifically designed title, often with art, that's used for labeling special stories or parts of a series. 